In today's diverse and ever-evolving society, it's important to challenge misconceptions and myths that surround different lifestyles and identities. Cross-dressing and transgender individuals often find themselves subjected to a range of false beliefs that can perpetuate misunderstanding and discrimination. Let's debunk seven common myths that need to be put to rest. Myth number one, cross-dressers are gay. In reality, sexual orientation and gender identity are distinct aspects of a person's identity. Cross-dressing is an expression of gender identity or a form of self-expression that doesn't necessarily indicate a person's sexual orientation. Just like anyone else, cross-dressers can identify as gay, straight, bisexual, or any other sexual orientation. Myth number two. Cross-dressers are perverts. In reality, cross-dressing is not a sign of perversion. It's a personal choice that allows individuals to explore their gender identity or simply enjoy a different way of presenting themselves. Judging cross-dressers as perverts is unfair and based on outdated stereotypes. Myth number three. Cross-dressing is a psychological problem. In reality, cross-dressing is not a psychological disorder. It's important to differentiate between one's authentic gender identity and mental health concerns. Being transgender or a cross-dresser is about embracing one's true self, while psychological problems are separate issues that require professional help. Myth number four, cross-dressing can be cured. In reality, cross-dressing is not an illness that needs curing. It's a natural expression of self that should be respected. Attempts to cure cross-dressing can be harmful and lead to emotional distress. Acceptance and understanding are crucial for the well-being of individuals who engage in cross-dressing. Myth number five, cross-dressers want to change their sex. In reality, not all cross-dressers want to undergo gender transition. While some cross-dressers may be transgender and exploring their gender identity, others may find comfort in expressing their chosen gender through clothing without desiring permanent physical changes. Myth number six, Cross-dressing is a destructive addiction. In reality, cross-dressing is not inherently destructive. It becomes problematic only if it interferes with a person's daily life or well-being. Like any other activity, moderation and healthy self-expression are key. Myth number seven. Cross-dressers can't be good husbands or fathers. In reality, Gender expression has no bearing on one's ability to be a good partner or parent. Cross-dressers, just like anyone else, can have loving relationships and be devoted caregivers to their children. Embracing understanding and acceptance. In conclusion, it's crucial to dispel these myths surrounding cross-dressing and transgender individuals. These myths perpetuate prejudice and hinder the progress towards a more inclusive society. By challenging misconceptions and embracing understanding and acceptance, we can create an environment where everyone feels respected and valued for who they are. Here are some frequently asked questions answered for you. Number one. Can someone be both a cross-dresser and transgender? Yes, some individuals may identify as both cross-dressers and transgender, but they are distinct concepts. Number two, is cross-dressing a new phenomenon? No, cross-dressing has been a part of human history and various cultures for centuries. Number three, can cross-dressing be a phase? For some individuals,
cross-dressing may be a phase, while for others, it's a lifelong expression. Number 4. How can I support a cross-dressing friend or family member? Show empathy, respect their choices, and educate yourself about their experiences. Number 5. Are there support groups for cross-dressers and transgender individuals? Yes, there are numerous support groups and organizations that provide resources and community for cross-dressers and transgender individuals. We hope you found the information helpful. We know that being transgender can be a difficult journey and we want to do our part to make it a little bit easier. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel. It would mean the world to us. You can also support our work by joining our membership. This will help us continue to create content that is helpful and supportive for the community. Thank you again for watching, and we hope to see you next time.